Welcome back. We are taking you to my home county. Very excited. We're going out to Otter Tail County mm. this morning where you can step back in time and John Lordson shows us why the scenic Phelps Mill hasn't changed much in 135 years. You've probably seen many pictures online. You can't really take a bad shot out here. It's true. No matter which way you approach Phelps Mill, you're going to hear the rush of the Otter Tail River. And you're going to see a site that's been here since the first automobiles were hitting the road. The machinery is intact. You have the dam still intact. The flour mill was the brainchild of a Fergus Falls businessman named William Thomas. He built the dam in 1888. A contractor named Royal Powers took care of the building. Legend has it that he built this without the aid of a blueprint or any kind of drawing, pretty much keeping the plans in his head. And when you look at the complexity of the framing of this mill, it's pretty amazing. Just as amazing is the fact that Phelps Mill looks like it did when it first opened. Back then, farmers from across the area would bring in sacks of wheat to be turned into flour. You can see the inner workings of the gears of the power structure that would have powered this mill. Business boomed for 50 years before the doors closed in the late 1930s. And while the machinery never left, the building sat vacant for decades until a local woman got involved. Geneva Tweeton, a local activist from Fergus Falls, really got after the county to name this a county park to save the mill as a symbol of a distant lifestyle. Not only was the mill saved, but this past winter it went through a major renovation and with no time to spare. And this was very close to sliding into the river at one point. Yes, yeah, if, if we wouldn't have done what we have done, I mean, did we have a couple years? I don't know. Parks and Trails Director Kevin Fellbaum says when renovations began, part of the basement had sunk about two feet, causing the entire mill to lean. So you literally had to lift the mill up to do this? Correct. A new basement floor was added so visitors could check out old relics. One of those relics is the dust collector. Yeah, just the inner workings of, of how you can still view this is just amazing to me. This made it through, you know, World War II where scrappers were going around and, and getting metal and iron. And I mean, this stuff was all preserved and stayed here. As the mill reopens for tourism, the hope is to eventually surround it with walking trails and even an ice cream shop. But for now, it's simply known as the place without a bad picture. Phelps Mill is a real reminder of what I call living history. I mean, it's still there. It's almost like you could walk in and they're still grinding wheat. In Otter Tail County, John Lordson, WCCO News. Cool stuff there. The mill reopened for tourism last month and it's free to visit through November 1st. The Phelps Mill Festival will be held the second weekend in July with art, beer and wine tastings and mm. a 5K run. OK, I'm not so much on the running, but beer and wine tasting. Sign me up. There we go. Yeah, either way, fun for everybody. Well, coming up here on today's show, Sophia, lucky again, she chats with country music star Priscilla Block. We have that interview right after the break.